Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lab and today I'm going to be doing the second of the Tiny Rebels Slay Puffed and this one is the purple one and this is 5.2% and it is a chocolate hazelnut and caramel marshmallow porter. It says that there and then in the red box just there. Um, this one obviously came as part of the Slay Puff. Um, I've got two more after this. I bought them on the Tiny Rebel website and just sort that out. There we go. Uh, bought it on the Tiny Rebel website. I can't remember how much it cost me. It came with a beanie and a glass. I've used the glass in the last episode, or in the last video. Um, I'm using this one today, the one from the advent calendar. Yeah, um, last year's advent calendar. Um, guff on the back is the same as the last one. Um, it says, we're on a mission to bring you good times with a hint of beer. Uh, we do this by creating brands that will capture your imagination and defy your senses. When we're not making awesome beer, we're busy brewing up plans to better our people, community, and planet. One love, Tiny Rebel. It says that there, and the QR code, it's all, it's all the same guff. Um, goes to the website. Uh, it's all the same guff, just a different coloured can. Um, I quite like these slate puffs. Uh, they look nice. The, oh, which is not my camera somehow. Uh, the camera look, um, the can art looks really nice. It's a nice little take on Stay Puffed, which again, I haven't reviewed on this channel. But I'll get around to it at some point, probably. I don't know when. I'll just get around to it eventually. Um, there's no more guff on the can that's any different from um, the matchmakers. So let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? The only difference, obviously, besides the flavour, is the fact that this one is 5.2% and matchmakers is 42 So, there it is. I can smell this already, just so you know. Right, so, there is our beer. Let me actually see if I can just... There we go. So, there's the beer. We've got a nice jet black beer uh, with a nice mocha compact head. Looks, just look at that like that. It looks like a settled Guinness. It looks really, really nice. Just look at that. looks really nice. Um... Yeah, looks lovely. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, roasted malts. There is hazelnut in there. It smells like... Um, it's reminded me of um, sort of like a, a Reese's Pieces. Snickers. Sort of... Um, it's got that smell to it. When I had Big Reese... It smells like that. Not as strong on the booze, but flavour-wise, it smells peanut butter or well hazelnuts, so nutty, um, creamy, chocolatey, roasted malt, caramel. It smells lovely. Let's get a mouthful for body and carb. Carb's dead light on this one. Body is medium body, light medium, more medium side. So far so good, let's get a big old taste. Cheers. That marshmallow's hidden in the smell, but it's there in your taste. Um, if anyone doesn't know, the purple one is the purple sweet from Quality Streets, uh, just in case you didn't get it. Um, Yeah, this has got a roasted malt backbone, um, and it's got chocolate, caramel, hazelnut, and then your marshmallow sweetness right at the end. So, the the obviously at, um, doing whatever the flavours are for the beer relative to your Christmas sweet uh, and having your marshmallow, it's... Yeah, it does taste like the purple sweet from or the purple chocolate from Quality Streets. It does taste. It's got hazelnut. It's got your chocolate. It's got your caramel. Ugh, pardon me. It's nice and sweet. And then right at the end, it's that nice marshmallow sweetness. That sort of sticky, really sugary sweetness. And then underneath it all is your roasted malt, uh, sort of backbone of the beer. It's just throughout the beer dead nice stops it going over the top sweet um but yeah it's a really really nice beer really 
um, sweet but also you can tell to port. It's got that nice roasted, slight bitter taste to it. Dark roasted bitter taste to it. It's a nice beer. Um, is it better than Matchmakers? I don't. I don't know. I'm going to say yes. Uh, sorry, I'm going to say Matchmakers is better than the purple one. So I'm going to say no, this is not better than Matchmakers. I think this is good. I think Matchmakers just had that little extra bit to it. Um, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, I think Matchmaker just... I don't know what it was. It, it just tasted like a Matchmaker. This one's just got a bit... You can tell where they're going with it, but it's just not there yet. Um, I don't want that box... I don't want the box to be... You can tell where it's going, but it's not there yet. But this is that. Um, it, you can tell where it's going, but it's not there yet. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go away and enjoy it, because I do like it. It just needs a little more. I, I've got a feeling this whole box is going to be, if it was 8%, 9%, they would be absolutely stunning. But because they're 4, 5, 6, and 7, um, they're going to be... I think they're just going to increase in quality, because I'm going to do these ABV order. I think they're going to increase in quality because the ABV is also increasing. Um, so I've got a feeling the last one's going to be the best one because it's the strongest. And I don't want to say that because I like strong beers, but I have a feeling the way it's going, it's going to do that. So, Tiny Rebels, stay puffed. Um, the purple one, a chocolate, hazelnut and caramel marshmallow porter. So it's up there. Um, out of 10, I'm going to give this one an 8 as well. Um, matchmakers only gets a slight better... It's only slightly better than this one, but they both deserve an aid because they're both good beers. God, my camera is really bad. Um, yeah, so it's getting an 8 out of 10. If you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Tiny Rebels website down below. It's where I got mine. Um, currently, the Black Friday sale's on, so you could probably go down and pick one up. I'm not sure. I've not had a look. Um, but, yeah, if you want, link's down below. If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.